Chop, screenplay prep, and welcome to Three Script Points. This is the series I like to use examples from current TV shows and movies to illustrate screenwriting techniques. This episode, we're going to look at Bullet Train. Bullet Train is an action comedy starring Brad Pitt, amongst many others, and is distributed by Sony. Directed by David Leitch, this is a very interesting film, and in some ways I find it a little messy, but overall it escapes the gallows and entertains. So let's look at why that might be. Today we'll look at constraints, story, and characters. Kicking off the first one, constraints. What do I mean by that? Screenwriting wise, it's a fantastic idea and it really helps you, the writer, if you create a framework. And generally that is a time constraint, but it can also be a physical constraint, such that if your story exists only in a room, let's think of Panic Room with Jodie Foster, or in this case, in Bullet Train, the bulk of the movie takes place on the train. Furthermore, with Bullet Train, it takes place not only just on the train, but from a time perspective, the journey to Kyoto. By creating a boundary, you set yourself what might seem like a limitation, but ultimately you're giving yourself a framework to work within. And now with that guiding rule set, it's much easier to then write without the worry of the what ifs, where you're going to go, and what the bounds might be. Having the restriction is a benefit. Particularly when you think of a time benefit, this action has to happen by the time it reaches the destination. With this time constraint, it's fantastic because when you're writing, you know you're aiming at a particular moment, which is the end of the journey, which is where the character White Death, played by Michael Shannon, will be waiting. With this screenwriting technique of using these limitations, you've got that visual bounding of the train carriages and it forces the action and story to take place neatly within that. Now, moving on to our next script point, story. Story is potentially a rather big subject to cover. However, what I mean specifically with bullet train in mind is that it felt a little messy. And, and what do I mean by that? And what's the ramification of that? Ultimately, I think they get away with it. However, when you have a messy story, you potentially lose your audience because you're sitting there trying to work out, well, who was that guy? And why didn't, how do they relate? And that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. And I think what we have in this film are many characters all jostling for screen time and being that they're within the constraint of this bullet train in these carriages, it's a lot happening in uh, a small space. You've got the brothers who play this pair of assassins. You've then got the wolf character. There's Brad Pitt's character. We have White Death's son. We have this young girl. We then have the Japanese father joining the train later on to follow up on his son, who is also on the train. And well, th there's more. There's, there's the female assassin who comes to get revenge on Brad Pitt. It's never ending. From a writing perspective, it really requires good use of time to understand who the characters are and not jump too quickly on to the next scene. It's very, very tricky. It's very reminiscent of a Quentin Tarantino script where things move at quite a pace and there's a lot of chatty characters. Ultimately, I think the casting rescues the story here, but ensure if you have a story with many, many characters in it, that you make sure not to get too complicated and allow your audience to keep up. Third and last script point is character. And I think Bullet Train does very well in this department. There are a number of characters, as I mentioned just now, and I think because of the casting, and to be honest, there were some good bits of dialogue with these characters, the characters stayed within character, it really managed to pull through. Oh, and I've gone over four minutes again. 
Let's continue. The problem with multiple characters is as an audience, you wonder who you are focusing on. This great scene between Brad Pitt's character Ladybug and Lemon across the table is amusing to say the least. Hi, you don't remember me. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Really, you don't remember me? The inclusion of the lady shushing the two fighting characters is a great little touch just to remind us that this is a comedy and not to take it all too seriously. From a writing point of view, what Zach Olkovich has done is also give these characters fantastic names. It's all, it's quite reminiscent of Reservoir Dogs where we have the two brothers, Lemon and Tangerine. And of course, Brad Pitt playing this assassin ladybug. Add to that the cameos, which I won't go into in case that's too much of a spoiler. The strength in this movie is very much in the writing of the characters. I think further excellence comes in the choice of the mix between the American and English and Japanese and Hispanic characters, which really gives a good sense of flavor and a bit of contrast in terms of the dialogue when it comes down to humor between the various nations. The strength of the screenwriting here delivers much more rounded characters. So much so that what effectively we have in the dialogue is banter mixed in between the desperation of who's chasing who, who's gonna get it next, not to mention the snake that's loose on the train. We have dialogue well worth listening to. Oh no, thank you. You know what, do you have uh, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Domo arigato. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. I hope that was useful to you, and I hope to see you in the next three script points where we shall look at another movie or TV show. If you've written your screenplay and need to have it polished to pass through the scrutiny of the industry reader, then join my clients for the formatting and basic editorial package to eliminate issues with your screenwriting conventions and standards. I offer a personal and considered service as I do not farm out to contractors. Link is in the description below.